Epigenetics more was the expression of disease. You're in a room. All the walls are covered with circuit breakers everywhere, these tiny billions of circuit breakers everywhere. When you're born, there's a handful of circuit breakers that are popped. You have these circuits that go into the room, their diet, their hormones, their uh, toxins, in the, it, toxins, their deficiencies, there's um, organ dysfunctions, like whatever, you know, bad stress management, you don't drink enough water, whatever. So all these things are another uh, circuit into the room. At some point in time, when enough of those go wrong, you have more circuits pop. And those are genes. And a histone, if you think of a histone like a, a, a spool of thread, and it has all this data on it as it's wrapped up around this spool. You can't read it. It's not like a, you know, a book where you can sit there and just read through it. It's all wrapped up. But as you get under more and more stressors, and that can be emotional stress too, not just physiologic biochemical, that's going to open up and all of a sudden your body can read it and it says rheumatoid arthritis. It says thyroid disease. And then your body starts to shut down your thyroid. Your body starts to swell up your joints. And something that is in your DNA, I look at a couple of different factors, you know, like, hey, you're not sleeping well. You don't have a lot of energy. Your short-term memory is decreasing and you're diabetic. You have Alzheimer's in your family? And they say, yes. Yeah. So like, okay, so we have to start working on these factors because the first few symptoms that you get with Alzheimer's are sleep-wake cycle issues and short-term memory. We want to make sure you don't go there. You have it in your family. We need to take precautions to make sure you're elite in your eating and change the way things are affecting you so that you don't get that. If you don't have Alzheimer's in your family, chances are you're not going to get it. But with those symptoms, you're damaging the hippocampus of your brain, which is the first spot to degenerate with Alzheimer's. So you're probably not going to get that disease, but you are damaging that part of your brain. So we need to figure out why you're damaging it.